Hi guys, I'm Mark. Today I'm going to be doing my first ever Instagram Q&A, like question and answers. Basically, Instagram got this like feature where your followers can ask you questions. I've never done it. Actually, I don't know why I've never done it. If you don't get chosen this time, I'm sure I will be doing another Q&A in the future. If you guys like these sort of videos, give this video a thumbs up and definitely subscribe to my channel. But other than that, let's get started. So let's start off with a good one. It's Sabrina. Sabrina asked me, name three things on your bucket list, three things you want to do experience in your life. This is a good question. All right. So one thing I definitely want to do is travel. That was the first thing that popped up in my head. Ever since I was 17, I worked at Domino's. That was I've been working since I was 13, but when I was at college, I worked at Domino's. Um, making pizzas, calling people, and um, I said to myself, I'm going to go to two different countries every single year, and I'm 23 now, and ever since, I've managed to do that and hopefully I can keep going. I've managed to go to two or more countries out of my own back every year since I was 17. Another thing on my bucket list is definitely, definitely start up my own brand. I definitely have some ideas in my head. I don't want to vocalize it. I just want it to come into fruition, but I definitely, ever since I was 16 and started doing makeup, even when I was like drawing as a kid, I always drew products that I wanted to do. I've got a notes page on my notes app on my phone of colors, shade names of products that I want to release and everything. I absolutely definitely want to do that. I'm just learning a lot right now from other brands and other companies and hopefully one day we'll get there. I know this is a little bit more minuscule compared to the other ones in my opinion, but I definitely want to go skydiving with my brother. That's always something we've talked about that we want to skydive. I absolutely love doing stuff like that. I'm sometimes uh, fearless when it comes to that stuff, like cliff jumping, bungee jumping, stuff like that. I love doing stuff like that. I love roller coaster rides. I just like adrenaline. I just like something that's new. Mr. Candanis asks, was there ever a time you were disappointed in a fellow content creator? As I told you before in a few of my videos, I'm not really that close to a lot of content creators. I don't tend to want to get too close to content creators in that way. I don't know, it's just, it's just not a bit of me. And I'm only really close to Sabrina and Holly and we've always got on. Nah, I never, I never wore wigs at that point. No, but look at that face. You are this killing was two, it. This was two years ago. I look like I'm the mum taking <laughs> you had, You had green hair. That's how long this picture is. Yeah, but look, I'm the mum, Holly's a baby. <laughs> Trust me, I'm, I'm dad, I'm dad in terms of the other people in the beauty community there's a lot of drama especially right now especially right now lauren dot asks oh i like your profile picture you look really nice was going to university what you expected it to be like or completely different um to be honest i'm okay this is truth yeah i was like when i was at college everyone was like setting up their UCAS and everything. I was so chilled out. I was like, I'm not doing education anymore. I did 18 years of it. I'm not gonna do it anymore. And then like, week before UCAS deadline, I set everything up. And I was like, I started off actually, I started off actually um, applying for graphic design. But I just didn't know what I wanted to do. Cause I was like, uh, I don't know. So yeah, I got my UCAS points and I didn't want to go and do any of those courses. So I went to clearing. I was the only one in there with a smile. Everyone was crying. Everyone didn't get to the uni that they wanted to, but I was just like, it is what it is. Let's solve this. Let's choose something else. And I went to the uni that I went to. I was really happy. I loved it. I absolutely loved uni. I was so scared. I definitely made so many memories. Um, so many good friends that I'm gonna keep forever. So, I've said this before to a couple of my friends, yeah, and this is what I really think. Being in university, it's like a bubble. It's like, I see it as a microcosm of the real world. So like, there's minuscule things within that world in university that when you're in there, it seems like so much bigger when you're experiencing it and looking back, 
it's not really so much of a big deal and I tell this to everyone a lot of people lose the plot when they're in uni the plot is to like basically get a degree and a lot of people lose that because of their intentions of what they end up doing but you always have to remember the plot sometimes I did forget the plot let's be honest um, but for the most part it was really good I loved it made a lot of friends was exec for a few societies was really really involved um, it was not what I expected, but it was everything that I was not promised, but I got. Daryl asks, he's got a few questions. So he asks, prom? Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. Wait, are you asking me out for prom? Or are you asking me about how my prom was? Well, if you want to ask me for prom, then yes. He also asks, what that mouth do? <laughs> I think you know. Okay, Mary Delgado, MUA, asks, dream vacation. So I definitely want to go to LA. Somewhere I really want to go, I want to go to Iceland, which is in the works, hopefully. Oh yeah, Stockholm, because Malik's there, so I really want to visit him. South Korea, South Korea, because like, I love K-pop as a teenager and would love to go. Claire Owen asks, I live in Manchester and would love my makeup to be done by you if you ever need anyone. Book me, Mark does hair, hashtag Mark does makeup. If you want your makeup and hair done by me, your weave, your wig, contact me if you're in the Manchester area. I love doing, love doing makeup and hair. Someone asks, how do you maintain your beautiful physique? I don't. Are you mad? Is Underscore LX asks, you're so strong, what keeps you going when you're down? Have a cry. I don't know. Um, what's your favorite feature about yourself, both physical and non-physical? Um, physical. Oh yeah, I love my legs. I love my legs. And um, non-physical. Mmm. I like being artistic and creative. Uh -huh. Facial hair, yes or no? Yes, love that. Mr. Rinalista asks, I am so proud of you, who is your idol? To be honest, I don't really idolize anyone. You know, there's people who I look up to sometimes or whatever, but never really like aspire to be. Uh, I, I aspire to be myself. How long did my full brows take to grow in? I actually, yeah, listen. I used to shave mine so thin and I was like yes laying me and my me and my sister both but hers was so thin and they were like pencil thin for her and for me I just looked like a lesbian I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I love lesbians yeah I just have to put it out there but there was a time when I was like 17 18 where my brows were skinty wasn't a good look when I was just a boy, not wearing any makeup. It was not nice. It just looked like a lesbian even without makeup, let's be honest. Eric Christopher Titus asks, what is your favorite part about being a Barium ambassador? Yeah, I'm gonna be completely honest. Being on the website, being on the website, like go on barium.com and you'll see my face. That's pretty crazy in my mind. It's one of the biggest, biggest, biggest opportunities that's ever happened in my life, for sure to be a male to be Filipino, Asian background, whatever, and then to be and to be a part of a British owned brand company. Like I do have a lot of gratitude towards the company. It's one of the things that I'm most proud of in my life, to be honest. So those were some of the questions that you asked on Instagram. I hope to do more if you did like the video then obviously give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and if you've got any suggestions of what you want me to film more of then comment down below as well and i love you guys so much i love you all five of you and bye